All right, I got a point cloud loaded, and I just want to show you how you could generate some uh, simple line work to create a sketch. I'm going to, uh, I want to draw the exterior of this building here. And to do that, I just want to set my cursor so it matches the edge of the wall here. So I'm just going to pick that corner and then pick the opposite corner. I uh, did a zoom extensor by accident, so I'm going to pick right there. You can see my cursor has been rotated. I'm going to enable this mode here, which is going to force the lines to be perpendicular, and it's going to turn off the point snap. And I'm just going to draw a line around here and just snap to these corners just by eye. So just eyeballing it. And let's just uh, finish this off here. I'll just eyeball these ones in. So there, that one I didn't quite select the point, so you can just undo that one section, reselect it if you need to. So I'm just picking quickly here, and then we'll close that and you'll see we've traced the exterior made a mistake there yeah. that nice thing with IMS map 360 you can easily fix that just by using the grip markers so I'm going to select that line in this one and I'm just going to move that grip marker to where it needs to be, which is going to be right in this location here. And you'll see how quickly you can fix mistakes. If you want to snap two points in the point cloud, just uh, go to your draw menu. I'm just going to turn off ortho mode. Just make sure you got a point snap turned on. I'm just going to use the line command here. And I'm just going to trace along the sides here of this roadway. I'm just going to stop it right there. Then around an area like this, I would probably use the spline command and just pick the start. So just wherever you, you just pick around the curb. And usually where you've got a tight corner, you might want to place some extra points. I'm just going to uh, not be as fussy here just to just so we uh, can uh, move the video along. When you get to the end of where you want the line to be, all you do is you just right click and then you need to define your pick a point here for the start and then for the end. And sometimes you just need to go back and just make some edits to your line here just to uh, get it to align better at the start, like so. And then um, if you hide your point cloud, so there it's not touching, but so I would just. move this to the end of the line so it matches up precisely and at this point I think you should get an idea of how you can digitize from a point cloud if you go to your uh, template drawing wizard if you click into a viewport just do a double click to do a zoom extents You'll see there's your point cloud. If you want to adjust the size of the points in here to just help fill it in a little bit, you can do that. I've also got 
the grid showing here and that's what makes uh, it look like there's a, a hash pattern in there. You can turn that off if you want. On your point cloud tab just change the point size to 2 and you'll see it just fills it in a little bit better. There you go, there's your there's your point cloud that you could print out. If you want to hide the point cloud in here, you can certainly do so. Just activate the viewport and then the point cloud will be on its own layer. So you can just click in here and on the point cloud view, uh, layer, just turn off this button here, which turns off the point cloud for this particular view. You'll see if I click into this viewport, I can do a double click in there and you can control the visibility of objects in each viewport separately. So I could add dimensions in the drawing, edit any of the text, and then to print it out, just go to the print menu and then do a print preview and you'll be ready to print.